There are two ridge and hip assemblies provided by Edco to finish off the peak of a roof, vented and unvented. This video will overview the components and steps for installing the trimline vent system for a vented roof area. For more information about ventilation requirements or installing an unvented ridge assembly, please contact Edco Products. The first step for completing a ridge vent system is to cut a 2 inch wide opening through the roof decking. Vent openings should be no closer than 6 feet from the end walls and local building code should be checked for exact requirements for ventilation. Another key step that should be completed prior to the ridge assembly being installed is the shingles from both sides of the peak should be run as close as possible to the ridge cut. This may require cutting the width of the final course of panels to get close to the peak, but it will help with water tightness. When the final course of panels are fastened and sealed, the trim line vent system can then be installed. Bend vent pieces to match roof pitch and install along the full length of ridge. Fasten evenly and through the venting foam to properly secure to the ridge and make sure any seams between joining pieces are properly sealed. The next step is to add the starter base, which will also need to be bent to match the roof pitch and then properly fastened. Both the first and last pieces installed of the starter base will need to be measured, cut, and field formed to roll over the gable edge. The starter base is then completely covered with ice and water, so all seams and fasteners are properly sealed. The ridge is now ready for the cap installation. Similar to the ridge starter, the first and last ridge caps will need to be field formed to wrap around the gable ends. This will require some field measuring, cutting with a snips, and the use of a handbrake to bend the end of the cap. Once the first piece is preformed, it can be installed to start the ridge. Each cap piece is attached using shingle clips properly fastened to the roof deck with galvanized screws. Two clips should be used for each cap and screws should be long enough to penetrate the roof decking. Upon reaching the last cap, it will once again need to be measured, field cut and bent, and then preformed before installing. A snug fit should be achieved with the cap wrapping tightly around the gable and secured with color matching screws from underneath.